hi everyone welcome back to my channel um today i decided to do my first ever um faith plan with me and my happy planner um a lot of you have been asking me in the princess pearl warrior group about how i um my layout and how i do everything so i decided to do a video um explaining some of the tools that i use and how i kind of go through my uh, process of setting up my planner for the week so i use the happy planner it's the faith warrior planner that i purchased i'm not sure if they have any more of this layout on their website but you can definitely um, check them out and i'll try to insert um, their information where you can kind of look at a video or purchase if you want to from their website but i also use the happy planner stickers and so my first thought process is to kind of choose some stickers that I want to use. Um, my favorite one is to choose Happy um, Sticker Book because it has some beautiful floors. I, I love flowers and I love bright, fun um, colors. So I choose that and um, I have my Faith Sticker Books here too. So I have two of them, the new one and um, an older one. And they're pretty fun with bright colors um, as well. And it has like a lot of great quotes and stuff. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I may use um, two other sticker books, but I'm not quite sure. So this is my happy planner. And I'll show you guys a flip through of last week. I did post some pictures, but I'm gonna show you guys a flip through of last week. So this is my week and the pages just come right on out. So, so this is my week. So I have my pages set up just like this. Um, at the top here, it says the scripture planning and keywords. So I'll write the scripture for the day based on the in touch devotional and some keywords that I want to always remember or stick out. Or if I want to come back and reference, Hey, I want to find something on atonement or grace or, you know, sin or whatever was going on or the keywords for that day. I just go ahead and put that in there. And then I have my observation and then my application. So I put a couple of little stickers in here um, just as like little notes to kind of help me remember um, or reference back to what um, that week had. And then I have my pages that I punched. So um, I have extra papers like this. So and just in case, like on the 14th, I just had like so much I really wanted to write out. And these like lines here just wasn't enough. So I went out ahead and and punched out some paper and, and stuck it in there. So that's Monday through Sunday. And then it has this page here where it has my sermon notes from um, church. So I write all my sermon notes out and this Sunday, everything kind of spilled over and I'll show you guys how the blank pages look. Um, it spilled over. So I just covered up the headings that are here and um, put the rest of what I needed to do. And it has a great tracker here, which I like. I can track my reading, my prayer, my gratitude, vitamins, because um, I want to start taking my vitamins regularly, exercising, and I want to track my mood. And then here in this box here in orange, it says blessings this week and then grateful for. So that's what I usually do um, every single week. So here are the blank pages here. I have my bookmark already, already set up. And I already have my pages punched out for the week. So let's just go ahead and take those out. And so this, these are the blank pages. So on this side, you have a prayer list and some extra little notes here on the side. And this week I do have some um, particular prayers that I do wanna pray for certain people from my church that are going through things. So I'm gonna use my mini. Yeah, And I wanna find some small, little um stickers i hope i have some in here but i'm not sure okay so i can use this 
this will work. I also use some tweezers to kind of get my stickers out because that kind of helps me a little bit. I want to go with some fun like little florals this week. I want it to be like really, really bright because I don't know, I'm just like in a great mood. Um, so I don't know if I want to use my stripes or if I want to use the polka dots. And I, I love polka dots. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the polka dots though. So I'm feeling really like good about the week. So I'm just going to go ahead and just lay this little checklist here down on the side. And that'll be my um, checklist there for the people that I'm going to go ahead and pray for this week that I want to um, focus in on. And then probably find me a nice little quote in here. I wanted to find like a clear one. I may not find what I'm looking for. This planning process is, I don't know, it's kind of like goes on like how I feel. <laughs> so I wanted to do something, write something kind of um, inspirational. And I don't see anything that I like in that particular one, but maybe I might find something in here. I don't know. I may put a planner doll in there. You know what? I think I'm going to put a Faith Warrior doll in here this week. So I'm going to take one. Now, I love the fact that they are, um, it's kind of like just like on plain paper. So what I do... I just take brown colored pencil and a black colored pencil. <laughs> um, you could do this for any skin tone or whatever. And I just kind of color her in to match my skin tone. And I just like darken up her hair a little bit. And there she goes. She looks like me. <laughs> so I like that. And I believe this one had like a little. Oh, feather strong. Oh, I like that. It says press for the week, but I already have a heading there. Oh, this one is great. This one says pray without ceasing. Oh, you can see my face in there. <laughs> my glasses and everything up in there. Okay. So that'll work. And then I have extra space if there's like anything else that I want to kind of do or whatever. But that's like my first like little my first like little setup there for the week. And then I like I said I want to put some flowers cuz I want it to just be so bright. Um I really want it to be really, really bright, this um, thing. So I love this page. As you can see, I've kind of <laughs> used up most of the flowers here. But I really want everything to be nice and bright. Um, and, and I think i got to use my tweezers. Okay, there we go. Got it out. Um, so I want everything to be kind of nice and bright. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of lay this here on the side there. I love that. That's so pretty. And then I'm probably just going to use up like all of these. I'm going to use some scissors. cut this flower just a bit because I want to kind of have it here like like so and then I'll go ahead and find another spot to stick this half on 
don't waste anything like Pam. She says, don't waste anything. I don't waste anything, honey. <laughs> I'm not wasting nothing. <laughs> Cute little flower here. So I'll probably use this here, in this little corner there, to put some some little flowers. And then I think I want to put just um, I think I want to put one more little flower here. Uh, I'll probably use this set here because the rest of those I want to use on my next pages because I like my um, theme to be pretty cohesive but I, I don't want to take up too much of my space where I write because I do want to have um, my writing space so I don't like to just over decorate here like I would with my regular planner but I do want to make sure that I have you know enough um, here you know to make it fun and bright and and interesting and, and ready for my week so the next thing that I would do is go ahead and take my pages on out so let me go ahead and close this up here so I'm gonna go ahead and take my pages on out and then I'm gonna look at my um, devotionals and I'm going to see um, what the um, what the verses are um, or the scriptures are for the week. And I, I love to use Flare, the Paper Mate Flare pens. These are like my favorite pens. I'm, and I use the medium tip. I love them. They're, they're so perfect for writing and they don't really bleed on anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly go ahead and write in the scriptures for the week. And I do not like my handwriting. Some people say they like it, but I don't really like it. I try to work on it. I'm a teacher, so over the summer, I, I'm going to do like a little challenge <laughs> and um, practice writing different types of um, fonts and everything um, just to kind of play around with it to see if I can do anything different. But I do have to practice my penmanship because, you know, as a teacher, you do try to teach your students how to write things correctly. So um, that's something that I do try to work on really hard. So once I'm done with this, the next thing that I'm going to um, do is I'm... I, I like to read the titles and if I have like any like extra headings or if I see like some little quotes that I think that would be good on those pages, I, you know, I would usually go ahead and just write those, um, write those uh, up there or tear out some stickers, you know, anything that I feel would help me do that. Or sometimes I just do it as the days come by. I'll just go ahead and say, oh, you know, I think I got a sticker with that kind of name on it or or that kind of word on it and i'll just go ahead and just do those and put those on there all right and then sunday okay so that's it so that's it for that so and i'll come back to um I'll come back to those pages in a little bit. So there I have that. And that's pretty much my setup. That's pretty much how I get everything all set up and everything. And I'm not going to fill that in right here because, um, you know, just to protect people's privacy. So I flip this page over. And then I got to grab that little page that goes with it. So now these two pages together look like this. So then I'll go ahead and start decorating these pages. 
So I always get me like a little, <coughs> I always get me, sorry. I always get like the little, um, little notebook box sticker. And I think I'm gonna go with the green. And I always put that here so I can write down um, what the scripture is that the pastor was uh, coming from on that day. And as you can see, this page, um, I covered it up in washi because it says here, loving well this week, God, others, and me. Well, sometimes I don't really like to use that. Um, just I just don't like to use it. Um, so I will be covering up um, this part this week with some um, washi tape as well. So I'm going to cover this up with the washi tape and I'll show you guys how I do it so you don't end up seeing um, all the all of the letters there. I am going to keep the blessings this week because I do like to always just remember that there's something in that week that will help me or encourage me or something good happened in that week. Even on my worst week, I can at least write one thing that was a blessing to me and something that I'm grateful for in that week. So I'm going to start working on these pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start filling in my um, daily tracker. So I always want to track um, the same things every week. I want to track my reading and I just kind of go ahead and trace over this because it's actually in um, blue ink, but I like to use black. So it kind of, and then by doing this, it kind of helps me kind of like trace out these letters. So I kind of can uh, write them on the blank ones, which I love that they have these, these blank ones here. So I always, I'm like I said, y'all, I'm gonna do my vitamins. So, so I wanna track my vitamins. I wanna track my exer, I wanna track my exercise. And, um, oh, what was the other, oh, my mood. I wanna definitely track my mood. I started tracking my mood um, because I've, I've, I felt like um, at one point I, um, oh my gosh, I'm just going to go me saying all this stuff, but I um, struggle uh, with um, anxiety and depression. And as a part of me um, coming out of that and, and really having victory over that, I started to um, journal how I was feeling and everything. And since I've gotten so much better with everything, I um, don't really journal that much. I would keep a journal by my bedside and everything, but I don't really journal that much anymore. Um, like I said, I've, I've gotten a lot of victory and I've gotten so much better with that um, because it was just helped me to identify like triggers and everything. But um, recently I have been, um, you know, trying to really, um, get in touch with my feelings and my mood and really, um, trying to track with my eating and everything, um, how I've really been feeling. Cause I feel like certain foods have been triggering some of my anxieties and things. So I track my, I'm, I follow that I'm tracking my mood, but I write it in my personal planner. So, um, that's a part of my faith journey is that my anxiety is kind of tied to my mood. So that's a part of my faith. So I want to track that. So, so I just put like a heart sticker here because I, I have tons of sticker books and I use the fitness sticker book here. So I just grab that so I can um, track that, track my mood. And then I have the tiny sticker book as well. And I don't want y'all to get all caught up in like, oh my gosh, she has all these books. I got to go get all these, all these books because I love that. Um, but um, I want to go ahead and um, grab one of these little stickers here. It has some emoji stickers in it. So they're like so cute. And I was thinking about what Pam was saying the other day when she was talking about um, not like hoarding all this stuff and like using it up and stuff. I... I have so many of these sticker books. I don't even want to show y'all, but um, 
I definitely uh, do need to uh, stop hoarding them <laughs> and uh, really just go ahead and um, and use them because I mean there's no need in, in, in hoarding all these different things so um, so I want to write that and then I think I'm gonna put a cute little water bottle right there for the vitamins I wish I could find like something else that was that was different but I'm gonna go ahead on and put like a little water bottle because you got to drink you know, you got to have your water with those vitamins. So I have like a little, little water bottle here. And I'm going to put it on this side. To kind of remind me to track, to track those things. All right, so this is how I um, cover up all of this so you can't see it. So what I do is go ahead and get some correction tape and I use the big correction tape real easy and I just go ahead and just um, start going over it and I am not the best at using the <laughs> correction tape as you can see um, but you just want to it doesn't have to be perfect and I always get these jams I don't know why I don't know. I think I just need to, I, I lift up too quickly before it's time. So I think that's kind of like part of the problem there. And so um, basically I just um, like white out all of this because some of my washi tape is very sheer. And even if I put something on top of something to cover it up, it you can still kind of see what was underneath there. So the correction tape definitely helps to... Um, to not show through as much. And I have my washi tape bin here. And um, I think I'm gonna go with this one this week. Cause like I said, I'm gonna do um, the florals and everything. So I'm gonna go with this. And I just kind of lay it down, try to line it up here as best as I can with this line here. And the top to try to keep it straight. And just press it down as I go. And then I use my little scissors. Cut it off. There we go. And then I always put like another little um, smaller one underneath there. And this week I'm going to use this one. It's so cute. But these little skinny ones, I tell you, they are so hard to find. It has these cute like little scallops on it. It is so hard to find like where I cut it off at. So these scallops are so cute to put on there and this is so therapeutic for me like it definitely helps me to de-stress or whatever I love doing this I love decorating my planner so as you can see that looks all cohesive the color scheme and everything looks really good so I'm gonna open back up my little florals here and good I went right back to that page which is perfect now I don't want to really cover up um, too much here where the sermon notes because I like to really 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 go ahead and and just write and get everything um, you know, just write and write and write and write. <laughs> so I want to have as much space as I can to write. So I'm going to cut off my little flower here. And I'm just going to put it right here on this end part because I've never really kind of come down this far. And like I said, I've already done that part as my, my little overflow. So that's pretty good. 
and then I'm gonna put this here because my overflow will come on on over that way Lessons things there. Yeah, I'm just going to use up this whole page. And that's fine for my overflow. I don't mind writing like through that because I still got plenty, <clears throat> plenty, plenty here. Oh, I didn't show y'all my stickers that I would get that I'm getting <laughs> I'm sorry I don't want to get it over that word there and I just cut this off if the sticker hangs over some and then I have these cute little small ones. So I'm gonna put a few like over here. I don't mind writing, you know, kind of around those things. And then I put one here. And I think that's it. So now I have my pages all done. So I have this for my daily devotional. Then as I turn the page over, I have Sunday for my sermon notes, my overflow, my tracker, my blessings for this week, and what I'm, what I'm grateful for. And so that's pretty much it. That's the way that I... Uh, plan and decorate for um, for the week. If you all have any questions or um, something else you want to see that I didn't show, I hope that you all will give me a thumbs up on this video. I hope that you would subscribe if you're a new person. If you are a returning person that's watching my videos, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.